Hello guys, welcome to your channel, Rathinatha channel. Today's topic is cantilever beam with point loads and UDL. Okay, it's a topic in SOM as you all know, strength of material or mechanics of solid. So today we'll be uh, dealing, dealing with mainly the UDL, that is the uniformly distributed load. Between C and D, you can see the UDL, right? So we have to draw the SFD and BMD. As you can see, it is cantilever beam with fixed in one end, that is point A, and free at the other end, that is point B. And at E and B, there are some, or there are two point loads, 2.5 kN and 3 kN. And respective lengths or the distance of the loads are also given. Okay, so you have to draw the SFD and BMD. I have already explained why to draw uh, above and below in my last cantilever beam numerical video. Hope you have seen it. If not, go and watch that will clear you up because that doesn't have a UDL we are dealing with UDL in this video okay so I hope you can see the UDL is written as 1 kilo Newton per meter so we have to deal with this unit okay so we have to, it is not the, the 1 kilo Newton is actually distributed so coming to the SFD 2.5 kilo Newton okay so we have to show with an arrow with a straight flat straight line because until d there is no other load so it will go like that i am giving you the representation okay of the sfd it is not graphically accurate but yes the graph will exactly look like this so at point d to c there the udl starts at d and ends or is done at c so here we have we'll show a slant uh, line due to the UDL okay so UDL has to be show with a strand, uh, slant line and flat straight line for point load okay then again point D to E there is no load until at E there is 3 kN so again a straight flat straight line from C to E okay okay so at point E what you need to do uh, you have to add up that extra point load at point E, that is 3 kN. We'll go up then again a flat straight line like the one we have started earlier with, 2.5 kN. We'll use the same pattern. Let me draw it. It should be exactly flat or parallel to AE and then this one. So let me join the side. Yeah, this thing. Okay, so it completes the SMD, the shear force diagram. And please mind that it is above the baseline. So we can mention what at the point D, like at point B, we have written 2.5 kN using the arrow. And at the same procedure, we can write at point C, point E, and point A. So for that, let's first find out what actually SMDs uh, as the value of SFD at each point. We will also see to find out how to deal with the UDL load. Okay, let me go there just a minute. Yeah, so we'll go there in the calculation part and we will come back here again once we solve the values of the SFD at each point. Okay? Okay, so at B It is simply 2.5 kN. At B it is 2.5 kN. At C it will be at same because at C it starts the UDL. So it will keep simple as B that is 2.5 kN. Okay. At D we have to deal with the 2.5 kN because 2.5 kN that is at B is right to the point D. So we have to consider this 2.5 kN plus we have to consider the 1 kN per meter into 2 meter. That is a total load. You have to consider the 2 meter because meter meter will cancel out. Okay, let me write 1 kN meter into 2 meter. Okay, so if you see it's 2.5 kilo Newton plus 2, no, I have written it wrong. Let me clear it. Just a minute, just a minute. Okay, let me remove it. 
yeah it's 2.5 kilo newton plus 2 kilo newton so it is 4.5 kilo newton at point d okay so we'll be always considering what is to the right side of that point so at point d this is 2.5 kilo newton plus the udl from c to d so until it is e because at e there is another point load if you remember 3 kilo newton so 4.5 kilo newton plus 3 kilo newton it will be 7.5 let me write it down 4.5 um, plus yeah 4.5 kilo newton plus uh, yeah 3 kilo newton it is 7.5 kilo newton at e point okay if you uh, get confused at some point do let me know in the comments or you can re-watch the video, pause the video and re-watch the video. So, uh, it will be 7.5 kN at point E. And at point A, since there are no load between E and A, it will continue to be 7.5. Remember, we use the same flat straight line. Yeah, so at E and A, it will be same. That is 7.5 and D, it is 4.5. So, let me write it down. So, at C, at A or E, you can write it anywhere like okay but at c it is do remember it is 4.5 kN. okay so point load we have managed and also the udl for this case we, you can mention ts a dash e dash to complete the graph so area of the graph of the sfd tells you the amount of sfd in the entire cantilever beam if you find the area of this graph it will give you the total amount of S uh, shear force that is the SF uh, of the cantilever beam acting on it okay so let us first uh, before drawing the banding moment diagram that is BMD let us first draw let us first find out okay uh, the banding moment at B then at C then at D then at E yeah let's find out at bending moment at B it's 2.5 into 0 because there is no force and there is no length for this force. So it will be exactly 2.5 into 0, 0. So at moment at B is 0, but moment at C, do remember from the last video, even haven't watched it, go and please watch the video. It, the force is downward and trying to have a clockwise uh, bending moment. So we have considered it as a minus 2.5 into this 2.5 is 0.5 meter away. The point B is 0.5 meter away from C because we are trying to find the moment at C. 0.5 into 2.5 or minus 2.5 into 0.5. That is the distance. So this load into distance will give you the uh, that is the moment at C. So it is uh, 1.25 kilo newton small k newton meter. Yes, because it is we are finding the moment bending moment, so it will be newton meter. So as well, we have to find the moment at D. We will be considering only the right hand side of that point. Please remember because the left hand side of that point is fixed end. So, we will be only considering about the free end. Okay, at D, you can see um, there is this complete uh, first minus 2.5. This time the distance will be 0.5 plus 2 because your point load at B is. 0.5 plus 2. If you go and check the diagram, the entire UDL is 2 meter. See, so it is 0.5 plus 2 meter. So it is giving you 2.5 meter into 2.5. And you have to give the minus sign. Okay. Okay. For the UDL, you need to do something. Let me go back. Yeah, let me write it first, I guess, yeah. Okay, minus 1 into, let me write down, just a minute, some glitches are there. Okay, minus 1 into 2, because it is in per meter, right? 1 kilonewton per meter, so 2 meter, so meter meter will cancel out. The entire 1 into 2 is the load. So you have to multiply the force, the, the distance. Distance is 2. It has to be divided by 2 because it is UDL. The load uh, is supposed to be acting at the middle of the UDL. So, the entire length, whatever it is, the UDL, that is 2 meter, has to be divided by 2. 
so this first part 1 into 2 is the load and 2 by 2 is the distance see 1 kilo Newton meter into 2 meter we have already done this yeah meter meter cancel out so it is 1 into 2 is 2 into the distance the entire distance divided by 2 so this 1 2 is nothing but your load yeah okay so your this part that is the 2 by 2 distance whatever the distance that is from C to D the entire UDL divided by 2 okay so it is let me write it down this is the distance okay and that is the load so load into distance because you are finding moment and at D so if you have understood let me clear those uh, erase those and do the calculation further yeah let me let me do it first at times there may be some software glitches kindly pardon me on that okay okay so if something is re erased please uh, pause the video or go back to the earlier position see a part of the shear force calculation has been erased kindly go back to the earlier part because it has been already calculated so we don't need it anymore but if you want to have go check the shear force at the earlier part of the video okay let me write the we are doing the bending moment part so 8.2 kilo newton meter minus it has to come so if you do the enter calculation it will come like that so going to the point e that is uh, m e okay bending moment at e so considering all the right hand side forces of the point e minus 2.5 this time it will be 2 plus 0.5 if you go back to the diagram you will see there is 1.5 meter away because e is almost 2 plus 0.5 plus 1.5 meter away okay so we have to add up all the distance okay the, in, the distance has been increased now so 1 into 2 as earlier into this time 2 by 2 will come but along with it that 1.5 will come that is the distance 1.5 plus 2 by 2 initially for the other uh, the, the point earlier that is a point D it was 2 by 2 simply as you can see I have shown it the arrow but this time it is 1.5 plus 2 by 2 see between E and D it is that 1.5 is there let me round it up just a minute yeah yeah see between E and D it is point it is uh, sorry 1.5 meter okay let me erase this and go back okay so i hope you are getting the points actually main is the concept okay if at any point please do comment in the below and do subscribe okay it actually motivates me and i will know that you are watching it and pause the video re-watch the video okay so after doing the calculation that is at the point e the bending moment at point e it's minus 15 1 5 15 kilo newton meter at f i am writing here at f actually that should be that should have been uh, a okay consider f as a that is bending moment at a will be so you have to get the entire distance between a and b so it will be 2 plus 0.5 plus 1.5 plus 0.5 okay it will be coming as 5 so i have directly written it as 5 and for the udl it will be uh, 1 into 2 as usual let me write it down okay oh there is the another point here yeah, at point E so it is 3 into it is 1 meter away from point A consider F as A please I have written uh, in the wrong manner as F it should have been A okay okay it is 3 into 1 so 2 point load at B and E has been done so we will be next we will be in that thing we will be dealing with uh, it is in the same line okay there is no right hand side space so I am reading it down under okay so minus 2.5 into B for the point B uh, minus 2.5 into 5 for the point B minus 3 into 1 for the point point load at E and this UDL 1, point, uh, 1 into 2 into bra under bracket it is 1.5 plus 1 so it becomes 2.5 okay plus 2 by 2 see the distance is increasing first plus 0.5 
Okay, first it is 2, 2 by 2, then 1.5 plus 2 by 2, now 2.5 plus 2 by 2. So, MA, I am writing in this MF, kindly consider it is MA. So, it is, after calculation, you will find it as minus 22.5 kilometer meter. Now, you go back, you can put those, after drawing the, uh, all these values, MC, MD, MB, uh, after drawing the BMD, it's a representational graphical figure that has not to be graphically accurate. You have to write the representation or draw the representation diagram, okay? But you have to accurately find in the calculation that which point at which point, whatever it is, okay? Okay, just a minute. Let me write this, okay? So at point B, there is no moment. So there is no moment. So it will start from there. It will be a straight line slant not flat straight then from c to d since there is uh, this udl for udl there will be no straight line but a parabolic line okay oh, it goes a little bit odd let me erase it and okay let me yeah so i am trying to make it look good so from b to c it's a straight line from c to d it's parabolic please mind that for udl you have to draw parabolic okay And from D to E, it's again a straight line because there is a point load at a E again. So there will be two straight lines from E to D and from E to A. It is increasing. Please remember your vending moment values are increasing at each point from B to A. So let me uh, mark those with the arrow at point C, D, E, and A. Okay. At any point, if you feel like, do pause the video and watch it again, repeat it. And do let me know in the comments, do subscribe the channel, okay? It will help and motivate me. I will know that you are watching the video, okay? So, it is. it takes a lot of pain to create this video actually. Doing and editing and be, no, it's a technical video, so numerical video, so you have to be. So I'm putting all the values that I have found at point C, that is one minus 1.5, and D, you cannot, you may not put the minus here because it is already down the baseline. Then at E, it is 15, and it is 22.5 at A. So this is how it looks, the BMD as SFD. So these are representation graphical diagram, which, is, which are known as SFDs and BMDs. And then in these two are straight line as I have said, but between C and D for the UDL, it has to be parabolic. Okay, so it is down the baseline, that is a BMD, and for the SFD, it is up the baseline. You can remember it as SFD plus Y, and for the BMD, it is minus Y for cantilever beam. Okay, so do subscribe the channel. Do like and share. Take care of yourself, your study. Till then, I wish you all the luck. Bye-bye. <laughs>